Yeah, cybercrime will always be where people are. If people are now going to all these social sites and uh, this is where they are trusting the content that's coming from there, this is where criminals will be, cyber criminals will be. And what we are seeing is that almost every site with user-generated content, uh, like MySpace or Twitter, and, and there are some uh, many other applications out there, uh, is a target for, for attack. And we are actually starting to, uh, to find and, and get some reports from others that malicious code is being used uh, as user-generated content, but in this case, the user is the cyber criminal and people are clicking on the links and end up with infecting their machine or uh, just uh, web pages being compromised. So people intend to believe that uh, these Web 2.0 sites are trusted. They are, the domain is trusted, the people who operate them is definitely trusted people. However, since these are user-generated content sites, you cannot trust the, 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 the person that uploads that content. Uh, for businesses, our recommendation is to use a, a secure web gateway, basically a gateway that sits in the network, and scan the incoming and outgoing web communication to identify malicious code. So it's no longer just the antivirus installed at the desktop, which is becoming less and less effective compared to what we've seen. Um, having a gateway at the network perimeter is very, very important. But not just that, it's also a matter of how do you identify this malicious code. If we uh, used to have the signatures of the antivirus that we renew for the last 20 years, these signatures are less and less effective in identifying the malicious code that is out there that the cyber criminals are using. So using, or, or, uh, util or using products that are utilizing a real-time content analysis uh, are much more effective. It's like having all the security researchers on a box and everything that passed by being scanned and the decision is made if it's good or if it's bad. For the individual, first I would recommend uh, make sure that you install all the security patches that your uh, um, operating system vendor uh, provides to you. It's not just the operating system. If you're using Adobe PDF readers, if you're using Flash, if you're using all the application, make sure they are up to date. Most of the attacks today is a result of people just leaving these applications unpatched and they make a big hole and they remain vulnerable. Also, we'd recommend users to make sure their antivirus and antispire is up to date. We at Fingen uh, released a browser plugin. We call it Fingen Secure Browsing. It's free for the consumers. You can download it from securebrowsingfingen.com. And once you go online and you either search Google or search Yahoo or visit social sites like MySpace, like Twitter, or even reading your Gmail, next to URLs that appears on these pages, we will add a safety icon, either re a green or red icon, indicating is it safe to click on that URL, or maybe you should watch out and, and not go there. Um, security technology can help to solve uh, um, technology or vulnerabilities within the technology, but at the end of the day, it's the user. If the user is, uh, would like to install a software and is unaware of the risk involved in that software, there's no technology that will be able to help. Social engineering is almost an unsolvable problem. Social engineering it depends on the person. So education will play a major role here to, to educate people what to do when they're getting uh, files. The same as a lot of people now not clicking on uh, executable they receive by the email because everyone got the experience of the entire computer blow up. So uh, I think on the web it's the same lesson need to be learned. Unlike the recession that we are in our uh, economy, the cybercrime economy is in the roof, is very successful. So their future looks very bright in terms of what they're doing. We see the uh, increase in their activities, the sophistication of the tools, the attack technique they're using. As long as we will keep our data in a digital format, and as we can all agree, this is how life will, will look in the future, cyber criminal will, will target this type of data because they know they can go and sell it online. There's someone willing to pay for this type of data. So cyber crime will never end as long as there is digital data in the world.
Authorities should cooperate more. I know that they are cooperating right now, but I think it's still very difficult from law enforcement in one country to take action in, in another country. Just all the political and all the relation needs to be much more um, mature, to mature a little bit more, uh, to, to act quickly and more efficiently than it's happened today.